Welcome in to the Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Appreciate you joining us. We are going to get right to it as it was a very interesting morning on this Thursday in the year of our Lord, 2023, as Eric DaCosta made some comments and then we saw reaction from Rashad Bateman. We'll show you all of it here in just a second as Bateman just slammed DaCosta for what he had to say about wide receivers and their approach that they've taken to wide receivers within the Ravens organization over the last few years. So let's get this piece by piece. Let's start with Eric DeCosta's comments first. He was asked about drafting wide receivers and what has gone on. And he said, if I had an answer, that would probably mean I would have some better receivers. We're going to keep swinging. They have been some guys that have been successful players for us that were draft picks. We've never really hit on that all-pro type of guy, which is disappointing, but it's not for a lack of effort. It's one of those anomalies that I really can't explain other than to say that we're not going to stop trying. We're going to keep swinging, and hopefully at one of these points, we're going to hit the ball out of the park. So that's what DaCosta had to say. You can see that there was some not-so-kind words straight up saying he wishes he had better receivers. That didn't go too well for Rashad Bateman. And this is what Bateman had to say about that. How about you play to your player's strength and stop pointing the finger at us and number eight, obviously that being Lamar Jackson. Blame the one you let do this. We take heat 24-7 and keep us healthy. Care about us and see what happened. Ain't no promise, though. Tired of y'all lying and capping on players for no reason. So, how about that? Pretty interesting from Rashad Bateman. But he didn't stop there. Another tweet that followed, since we speak it. Just putting it out there from Rashad Bateman. And that wasn't all of this drama that occurred this morning. Former Ravens wide receiver, now with the Arizona Cardinals, Hollywood Brown, had this to say in reaction to Rashad Bateman's comments, let him cook. So, Interesting to see uh, Hollywood Brown getting involved. Uh, we, of course, know about what went down last year when uh, he was traded around the draft, of course, and with the way that he felt about the wide receiver position, the way it was used in this system. So a lot to dissect and break down. I'm going to share my reaction to all of this in just a second. Before we do, let me hear from you guys. What's your one-word reaction to Rashad Bateman's comments to Eric DaCosta? of calling him out, and then what DaCosta had to say. A lot of drama here on this Thursday Thursday morning. What say you? Let me know in the comments section what you think about this. Give me one word to describe all of this. It's very fascinating, isn't it? And we'll see what the end result is. I have some trade rumors that we're going to get to uh, that we'll connect back on all this situation in just a moment. But tell me in the comments section, give me one word to describe Rashad Bateman's comments to Eric DaCosta. We are covering this team each and every day when we got juicy stuff like this or whether it was the John Harbaugh press conference yesterday, we are your place to be for the flock. If you aren't subscribed, what on earth are you waiting for? We're getting close to 9,000 subscribers here on the channel. Need your help to get there and be a part of what we're doing each and every day, talking about your Baltimore Ravens. If you love the Ravens, if you're a real member of the flock, you got to subscribe today. Doesn't cost you a thing. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. YouTube.com slash Ravens TV to subscribe today. Now, here's the deal. I, I don't mean to be a mediator and do the, the whole both sides thing, but let, let me put it this way. I understand the frustration here where both sides are coming from in all this. I mean, Eric DaCosta, I can see why he's frustrated with how the wide receiver position hasn't worked out the way it has, but I do think it was a poor choice of words on his part uh, to say what he said, to basically be calling out his receiver room, saying that they're not very good. At the same time with Rashad Bateman, uh, I understand where he's coming from as well, where he says, look, hey, quit pointing the finger at us, you know, give us what we need, stop blaming us, and let us do our thing here too. I think both things can be true. At the end of the day, though, what DaCosta's point about needing receiver help, he's not wrong, and we have talked about that all offseason long. You look at the Ravens wide receiver room this past year. 
Rashad Bateman was your number one guy. He got hurt early on, missed most of the season, and the Ravens receiving core was just pathetic once Bateman went down. And you had numerous injuries that went across the board. I mean, Demarcus Robinson was a guy that got cut by the Las Vegas Raiders, and he had more receiving yards than any other receiver on your roster this past year. Yeah, if I'm Eric DaCosta, I'm frustrated. But at the same time, too, that's going to fall on Eric DaCosta as well for the receivers that he's brought in. So, with that said, you got to get help. You can't sit idly by and think what you've had has been good enough. I do like what DaCosta said, that they're going to keep on swinging. They're going to keep on trying to find help for that receiver position. I have some potential solutions, some guys to watch here in just a second. We'll get to that in one moment before we do. Selling Ravens jerseys now. And if you want to wear a Marcus Williams jersey, Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews, uh, even Ray Lewis, whatever it may be, we have the jerseys for you in all different shapes and sizes, colors, whatever you're feeling, however you want to support your favorite team, however you want to rock out with your flock out, we got you covered here uh, with some great jerseys on sale now while supplies last. And get you can get yours a great deal on these jerseys for a limited time at chatsports.com slash Ravens jersey. What are you waiting for? Get your jerseys now. Chatsports.com slash Ravens jersey today. That's chatsports.com slash Ravens jersey. Now, I am of the belief that the Ravens should get multiple receivers this year, whether it be in the draft, free agency, trades, whatever it may be. They need more than just one to bring in. Let's go over the draft prospects first. Jackson Smith and Jigba is my favorite receiver in this draft. I know there's been signs, people pointing to the hamstring injury that forced him to miss most of last year, but it's a hammy. It shouldn't be a lingering issue. He's the most talented receiver in this draft. You'd love to have him on your team. Then there's Quentin Johnston from TCU, who is a big guy, you know, that, that 6'4 frame and everything. Uh, you're talking about a huge deep threat, and whether it's Lamar Jackson or whoever it may be at the quarterback position, you're going to feel a lot more comfortable trying to have a downfield passing game and in the red zone when you got a big guy like Quentin Johnston who's going to be a mismatch uh, to some of the defenders he faces. Then there's Jordan Addison, who had a really good year at Pitt and then went to USC under Lincoln Riley and had a solid year as well playing with Caleb Williams. I like those three. And then Zay Flowers. I think there's a drop-off to Zay Flowers. I don't like that, you know, comparably speaking to like a Quentin Johnston, Zay Flowers is only about 5'10". So he's more of a possession guy. But nonetheless, you know, I like those first three. Uh, Zay Flowers I like, but not quite as much as those others. But if you're the Ravens, if you get any of those guys – In particular, that first three, I think you're feeling pretty good with that first-round draft pick you have at 22. I think you need to make that happen. Now, here's some other guys that are on the market of sorts, potentially when it comes to trades and free agency. In Tampa, there's two guys. There's Mike Evans, who could be traded. There's also Chris Godwin as well. I think I like the idea of Chris Godwin a little bit better because he's younger than Mike Evans, Although we've seen Mike Evans be healthier than Chris Godwin over the last few years, though. So something to keep in mind, Tampa in rebuild mode. If you could get one of those receivers, I think you'd be pretty excited to have either one as your leading receiver. DeAndre Hopkins out in Arizona would be also a nice find as well. We've already seen the Ravens in the past do uh, some trades at the wide receiver position with Arizona last year with Hollywood Brown. DeAndre Hopkins, a big play threat. Um, There is some questions, though, about that commanding salary that he has if the Ravens could actually afford him, though. A couple free agent guys, potentially Jacoby Myers uh, is going to be a free agent. I think New England is going to push to try to keep Jacoby Myers, keep him around. Uh, So you might be in a bidding war potentially for Jacoby Myers, but he is, I think, one of the most underrated receivers in the National Football League. And then there's uh, the self-described TikTok boy, Juju Smith-Schuster from the Kansas City Chiefs, who had a nice bounce back year playing alongside Patrick Mahomes uh, there in Kansas City and, uh, of course, won a Super Bowl ring and Everything that went there for Juju was a nice way to get his career back on track. Could he do it in the Ravens system? It'd be interesting to watch uh, to see what he could do potentially there going from that Pats happy offense to Kansas City. Could we see the Ravens throw the football more if they had a guy like Juju? Potentially. We'll see what Todd Munkin can do. So with that, name a receiver the Ravens should add this offseason, whether it's 
one of those veterans or if it's somebody in the draft. Give me a name or two that you'd like to see. Join Rashad Bateman, Lamar Jackson, and this crew. They need receiver help badly. I agree with Eric DaCosta on that. Let's see them get some receiver help this offseason. Let me know who you'd like to see the Ravens add. You can follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Tyler Jones Live. I'll see you next time right here on the Ravens Rundown.